In the IELTS speaking exam, you may be asked about almost any common part of life. There are some predictable topics you often encounter, and most of these are broad human experiences, you know, sports and education and family. In part two, you need to describe something. This could be a person, a place, or an experience. In the past, I have written articles and recorded sample answers for many part two topics, from animals to books to people. Today, we're going to look at another IELTS speaking part two cue card, which asks you to describe a restaurant. When you are presented with an IELTS speaking part two question, it will come in the form of a cue card. That is, a piece of paper with some instructions on it. You need to follow these instructions carefully and then give your answer. In order to give an appropriate answer, you should read the cue card and make sure you fully understand it. Here is our cue card for today's lesson. When you look at the cue card for the first time, you need to think about it carefully. Looking here, what do you need to describe? A restaurant. Can you describe any restaurant? No, it needs to be your favorite. What things should you say about it? Well, you need to mention the location, appearance, and the menu, i.e. what kind of foods they serve. Can you say you dislike it? No, it must be one that you really like. And should you say anything else? Well, you can say things that are not on the cue card, but try not to go off topic. To review, this cue card asks the candidate to describe their favorite restaurant, giving some basic information about it and explaining why they like it. When you receive the cue card, you should take a moment to read it carefully and analyze the instructions, and then begin making notes. At this point, you have just one minute to make notes. You can later use these notes to speak. It is essential that you don't try to write too much. Think of some useful vocabulary or an interesting phrase that you might like to incorporate but mostly write what you want to say in very brief note form. Candidates who try to write full sentences will do very poorly in the speaking exam. You simply don't have enough time. It is important to practice this skill before doing the actual exam. Look at cue cards online and then practice writing down notes. How much can you think and write in just one minute? If you practice making notes, then it will be easier in the final exam. Here are my notes for the cue card. As you can see, I didn't write much. There are no full sentences and no grammar. It is just a bare outline. These notes would help me to speak easily but wouldn't take me a long time to write. Remember that no one will ever read your notes, so don't be self-conscious of how you write or any mistakes you make. Their only purpose is to help you speak freely during the next section. After writing your notes, you will have to speak for between one and two minutes. The most important thing is not to speak for less than one minute. That is essential. If you speak for too long, the examiner will stop you. Remember to speak slowly and calmly. If you speak too fast, you will quickly run through your notes and finish in less than a minute. Here is my sample answer to this part two question. 
My favorite restaurant is a Japanese restaurant near my house. I don't know the name because I can't read Japanese very well, but I often go there and I always enjoy it. Of course, they serve Japanese food there, such as sushi and sashimi, but there are many other types of dish. It has an extensive menu. They also have draft and bottled beer, as well as a few spirits. The restaurant is unique because although it is a Japanese restaurant, it has a lot of Beatles memorabilia. They also play lots of Beatles music there, which I think is strange. People are always confused when they enter because outside it looks like a typical Japanese restaurant, but inside it is a mix of Eastern and Western design. The restaurant is located not far from my house, in a, in a mall situated in the city's downtown area. I really like it because it's got great food and the service is better than most places around here. It's also quite clean. Notice that I didn't use any particularly difficult language, except maybe the word memorabilia. This word means memorable objects and is often used when describing strange decorations in restaurants that relate to culture. In terms of specific restaurant vocabulary, I used very little. The verb to serve is used to refer to a restaurant giving food to its customers. Although I didn't use it, it can be turned into a noun that refers to waiters and waitresses in a gender neutral way. Server. I use the phrase extensive menu to mean that the menu has many items. This would be a common way someone might refer to an impressive menu in a restaurant. In terms of alcohol, draft is the sort of beer that comes out of a tap, and spirits refers to stronger sorts of alcohol like whiskey, vodka, and tequila. You can find the full transcript to this episode on my website www.tedilts.com or you can see the link below.